Dwayne Edwards. He was born on June the 14th, 1933, and died on April the 7th, 2011. He was a convicted American serial killer. Edwards escaped from jail in Akron, Ohio, in 1955 and fled across the country, holding up gas stations. By 1961, he was on the FBI's most wanted list. Edwards was captured and arrested in Atlanta, Georgia, on January the 20th, 1962. After he was granted parole in 1967, Edwards murdered at least five people between 1977 and 1996, and he is suspected of several additional killings. Murder committed there in Georgia County, and uh, I'm responsible for it, and I am wanting the death penalty, but it seems that uh, everything that I tell, tell them, I mean, it's substantiated, they know it's the truth and stuff like this here, but they uh, they don't want to, uh, for whatever reason, follow it up or, um, and uh, it's just, uh, that's why I decided that I would talk to you to try and get my point across. The uh, kid that was killed, he was, uh, he, well, uh, I told him that his ride will be coming and uh, that uh, there were some cigarettes uh, in the bottom of the duffel bag. I said, you go ahead and get them out so you'll, you'll have access to them. And so the duffel bag is, for example, down here at my, my feet. And Danny is squatted down and he's taking his hand, he's going through the bottom of the duffel bag trying to find the cigarettes. And I'm standing right here uh, and I have the sawed off shotgun and I ease it out of the bag while well, Danny's down there looking. And I put the shotgun kind of right here over his, his shoulder, right down here easy, and I pulled the trigger. And it was a single shot. and. Uh, so I uh, put another shell in it, pulled it, the trigger, and he fell on over. And uh, so I then backtracked. I left him there, left the duffel bag there. And it was well covered. I mean, nobody could see it way back in there. And I went backtracked, and we went back to the car. And... Uh, uh, <clears throat> changed clothes and I went on home uh, and as if nothing had happened and my wife as I said didn't even know that uh, Danny was in town <clears throat> so well he didn't know it was coming and he had no, no he, he did not know that he was going to get shot I didn't threaten him in any way I felt bad, but uh, apparently not bad enough that I kept from doing it. Uh, he was stealing from my children, and I'm very close to my family in that respect. And so I just uh, let my mind... I'm, I, I'm not new to crime. I've been in crime all my life. i uh, written that book there, and uh, so I'm, I've been a criminal all my life, and so... Uh, and I had made up my mind, I guess, a long time ago that uh, I wasn't going to go back in a penitentiary for just, you know, anything. But, uh, no, I did not feel good uh, about it, and I don't feel good about it now. Otherwise, why I would be asking for the death penalty. And what I can't understand, just, I deserve it and I want the death penalty. You don't want to be in prison for a long time on, on everything else that's been going on. Right, I got all, I'm, I'm, I'm not a healthy man. I'm not a healthy man. I'm, uh, I have a pacemaker. I have a defibrillator. I have, uh, I'm a diabetic. I have uh, neuropathy. I can't walk. My back and neck's been broken. Uh, my neck is fused. Uh, and I'm uh, just just turned 77, and uh, and I deserved it. I mean, their his family, what family he has, 
stepbrothers and stuff like this here. I don't think he has a mom and dad. Uh, they're, they're entitled to the... Also, you got to remember something else too. I'm thinking also of my family. Uh, I have put my family through God knows what. They don't deserve it. They're, they're good people. Uh, they've been kept in the dark like for example my wife and things like they've been kept in the dark about all of this and so not only does Danny's family what he has get closure my family gets closure if uh, if their closure can be brought about because I have a I have a different view on what closure really is you know you keep hearing people say, well, now you got closure. Okay, is closure, is closure knowing the person who did it got caught and he's being sent to the penitentiary? Is that closure or is closure, if, if it were one of mine, closure, I would want to know, what did my, did my child say anything prior to dying? Uh, did he ask for me? Did she or he ask for me? Uh, was he was he pleading? In other words, I would want to know what was going on at the very end. That would be the closure that that's what I describe as, as closure in that respect, coming from a a parent, not just knowing that uh, okay, I committed the crime, so I'm guilty. And that, that to me, it's just that. You want to provide that now. Well, there was nothing. Uh, Danny didn't know he was going to get shot, so he did not plead. He didn't know he was going to get shot. But yes, I want to provide the closure to my family in that I've done it, and I, I really I deserve the death penalty. And as a matter of fact, uh, uh, I have a, a daughter, but I did this. I, I, what is so okay I'm, well, I'm sure I'm sure that there's no oh, matter of fact it's it's happened many many times over and over again and it's going to continue to happen where people will come up and tell you they killed somebody or they're committing to a crime and stuff like this here uh, this is a little bit different they know that I did this they've got the gun they've got the shells Danny lived at the house I had the reason for it. I've told them what the reasoning was. Uh, and uh, so, but they keep saying, we need the head. We need the head. And that's why I got ticked off and decided I was going to call you, and which I did.